on we go to Goodwood Racecourse, perhaps the most picturesque in the country. And as usual, there's a full house for Stewart's Cup Day. With the blower in working order, the bookies are happily chalking up the odds. Up on Trundle Hill, the free part of the course, they're hard at work on the age-old problem, though plenty of people are on hand to give them the answers. Obviously, he hasn't got a horse. Hungry enough to eat one? Try a basin full of eels instead. From eels to earls, yes, this is the exclusive side of Goodwood. Incidentally, this is one of the few privately owned courses in the country. It belongs to the Duke of Richmond. In the paddock, the 22 runners give the customers their last chance of a checker. Her Majesty the Queen is Goodwood's most honoured guest. She wears a dusty pink coat and dress for the occasion. The Queen leaves the paddock for the Stewards' Cup is soon to start. The field's in line. And they're off, with six furlongs to go. At the halfway mark, Deuce with Sir Gordon Richards up is just in the lead. Spring Day, Blue Butterfly and Palpitate are all there, but there's not much in it. Up the final stretch, Spring Day, Palpitate and Blue Butterfly fight it out. But Palpitate manages to put his nose first over the line, only a head in front of Spring Day. Owned and trained by veteran Fred Armstrong, Palpitate is the first Stewart's Cup favourite to win for 30 years.